Cloud computing is, is a buzzword, but it means basically that your data may not be stored on your specific computer system, but somewhere on a server in the cloud. This has advantages for you because you may be able to use your data wherever you go. You're not dependent on your computer device that, uh, on where the data is stored. Uh, it also means that applications may be available from the cloud, so that your software is not stored on your computer system, but you, you call, you, you access the, the software as you need it uh, from somewhere on a server. In the cloud means you don't even know where the server is. It's not of interest to you where the server is based, as long as the service is available, as long as you can access your data and your data is securely stored somewhere. Does it mean that law enforcement in another country have easier access to your data? And if it were in your own country, do we have the same safeguards if your data are stored in another country? In Europe, in most cases, a judge would have the proof that law enforcement accesses your data. Is the same, does the same apply if your data is stored in another country? Or when we talk about security and in the fight against cybercrime, does cloud computing also offer obstacles to effective law enforcement? Does it mean every time that um, a law enforcement officer here in France would have to send a, a rogatory letter to the authorities of another country in order to access the data because they may be stored there. But then we don't even know where the data is stored. Maybe a company decides that today it's more economical to have the data in the United States, but the next day it may be more economical to have the data in Ireland from a privacy point of view. And from a law enforcement point of view, that is of big interest. So there are many questions to be, uh, there are many questions in the air, many questions to be addressed. And I hope that in Sharm el-Sheikh we find, we, we advance with some of the answers to these questions.